Thank you, President. Jumps Racing has delivered another horrific scenario at the Moss Trooper Steeplechase Race Day in Bendigo on Sunday. In a program of six events, seven horses fell, five in the first two events. Twelve horses didn't make it to the end of their three kilometre plus events. Something to share didn't make it out alive. The Stewart's report of Race 6 states the gelding made a faulty jump at the 12th obstacle, suffered a catastrophic injury and was humanely euthanised. Rider Braden Small will require a medical clearance before riding again. In the same race, the stewards report states that King Kamada was brought down by the fall and something to share. A vet examination revealed the gelding to have blood in both nostrils that was attributable to trauma. Rider Lee Horner was reportedly heavily concussed. All in all, 14 horses were injured, five described as lame, two with blood in the nostrils, one with a pulmonary hemorrhage, others with a range of injuries. All were referred for veterinary clearance. How many will never be seen again? 17 horses were referred to the jumps review panel, including something to share. The debacle at Bendigo prompted claims from trainers and others that Racing Victoria had put the health and safety of horses at risk because of the hard track conditions. One trainer said that he had warned RV two weeks before that the track was too firm. He believes that Racing Victoria are accountable for the casualties and so do I. Once again, it has put profits before animal welfare. It ignored advice that the track was unsuitable for jumps racing and it failed to act on the day. It was obvious after the first two races that the jumps event should have been cancelled, but four more races followed, the last resulting in the death of something to share. <laughs>